Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. And we are moving into Cancer season tomorrow on the 21st on the, on the solstice energy. So happy birthday to all the Cancers out there and welcome. I hope that you are all doing well. This is your reading. So let's get started for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Cancer. Coming off of the new moon in Gemini, we've got this energy for the next two weeks. That energy, this energy has been showing us, highlighting the duality within us, the Jekyll and Hyde, um, the black and white thinking, aspects of ourselves that may have been hidden in the shadows, coming out for us to see, acknowledge, and heal, let go of. Um, we've got Saturn, who's in Pisces, just stationed retrograde, so there's a little duality in that energy as well, since Saturn is the planet of our responsibilities, of our discipline, our structure, and uh, Pisces wants to be fluid and free, and is very spiritual. Saturn is the rules but more like universal laws, not man-made laws, boundaries, structures. So where have we been taking responsibility for ourselves or whatever responsibilities we think we have? Um, and have we um, been able to maneuver them in a way that is more of a flow and free? Or have we contained ourselves and boxed ourselves in yet again? So that's something we'll be able to pick up on as Saturn retrogrades for the next few months, I think until October, November of this year. I'm not really sure. One of those. Until fall. So anyway, Cancer, this is your message, Sun, Moon, or Rising. These are general messages to take what resonates for you. Leave the rest. Check with your moon or rising sign or any of the other signs that may stand out to you. As we do have all 12 zodiac archetypes working through us and in our life experiences. We have creativity as the first card out. Three of Cups. Uh, that seems very much like your energy, fluid, water sign, emotional, in touch with emotions, utilizing the alchemy of our emotions to create. Cancer is a very sensitive and nurturing sign. Hmm. We have death. I'll show you the cards. Transformation, something changing, ending of something that needs to end within you, within your life experience. These are new cards, the Shamanic Healing Oracle cards. I just purchased them while in Sedona, Arizona last week, and they were speaking to me very strongly. We have transformation, so a double to a number 22, uh, death transformation and at the bottom of the deck is integration this is the biggest card for you cancer i feel like you are very aware that you've been going through some massive changes evolving growing becoming more self-aware and wise um and now it's time to truly take all of the knowledge and wisdom that we've always carried with us but now we have it um understood in the mind integrating that into your day-to-day -day practice, embodying this new version of self and putting an end to some maybe shadowy aspects that have been coming out to show themselves to you through this, these energies. And trust me when I say the world, the planet really truly needs all of us to continue to grow and evolve out of the density that we have been born into. So let's continue. Let's start with the creativity for cancer. What is the message for cancer with creativity? And this is truly about alchemy, mind, body, and spirit, working in co-creative elements with the universe.
the hermit. Lovely. So truly taking some time to yourself to alchemize and get in touch with those feelings and also see things from a, a, a new light, a new perspective for yourself. Understanding what it is that I truly want to create with infinite possibilities and potentials. What is it that I truly want and why? Why? I have a three cardinals on my bird feeder right now. Cardinals, for me, represent love, romance, passion with life, creativity. All right, let's talk about death for cancer. The lovers. Very interesting mix here. The lovers card um, in this deck typically represents uh, a unity of two souls, two divine counterparts that when come together, their energy empowers each other. It's not one needs the other or vice versa, but it's, it's a powerful combination of, of energy from two that creates the third energy, let's see, the, the trinity, because you're both working with spirit. Now there's something that is transforming and changing here. The lover's card can also represent coming into unity within the self and putting death is ending aspects of the self that are no longer serving you. So it could be one or both messages for you. Take what resonates. Talk about transformation. Okay. All right. We have the star in reverse. We're going to start with that because that's overall message here. Uh, something and the magician in reverse too. Something has not fully healed within you because it has not been fully integrated yet. Maybe the lesson is fresh and new and it's still processing through you. But you definitely have putting, been putting in a lot of hard work on yourself while you're going through these changes and transformation. The metamorphosis um, phase is probably the caterpillar when it's in the chrysalis is probably the um, messiest aspect. You know, when the caterpillar goes in the chrysalis, there's like this goo and changing form and everything feels weird. And so, um, but you've been working through that very strongly from what I'm getting. So definitely something to heal from still. As you're integrating some new, you may be just coming out of the crystallis metaphorically, um, don't even have your wings out yet. So you're still going through a, a pretty big healing process when it comes to certain aspects of your life. Uh, okay. Let's keep going here. Cancer. cycles of life go. I mean, there are certain times we think we know we're free. We got this. I got this journey. And then you get taken around like to the dark side of the moon where suddenly you got the brain fog and all these challenges and things come up and like suddenly you're not so sure about what you know and who you are and all of those things. And then we come back out to the light of like, oh, okay. And we're constantly being uh, going through an awakening stage and an evolutionary process of our own. And it is perfectly set up for each and every one of us to resonate with everything that's going on. Not that we completely understand what it is, but when we are attract, when we attract certain things to us or we are attracted to certain things or people or whatever, there's a very specific reasons as to why. which is why you are in this hermit. You're still in the crystallis right now, in the crystallis phase of your transformation. But um, that is gonna bring some great healing to you for your journey forward.
Well, that's way too many. Let's just take a peek, though. Queen of Swords, we've got Death, Five of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, the Sun. Um, we're going to keep going here, though, Cancer. Way too many cards. Let's talk about the Hermit and creativity for Cancer, please. Can I get some clarification on this? Or additional information? What is it that Cancer's creating? Co-creating. Definitely some change. Definitely some massive changes. Growth. Wisdom. The world in reverse. This speaks of integration again. So... The cosmic forces are working with you, Cancer, working with you very closely to end a chapter, end a cycle, but you're still in it. You're still in it with the world in reverse. It's not integrated yet. So another reason why you're in hermit mode here. And hermit for me is when we intentionally take time to ourselves, most likely after having some sort of challenging experience, not always, as sometimes it's just intuitively like, I need some time to myself. I, I got some things that are coming up, emotions and, and feelings and thoughts, where the hangman is more like the universe is like, come with me, I'm gonna hang you up on this tree so you can see something from a different perspective. So you're definitely following your intuition. It's just a matter of truly getting Picking up what the universe is putting down for you right now is really important. So the more time that you can have to yourself to see things in a new light, the better. This feels deep and heavy and important with death and transformation and integration. Reiterating itself over and over again because there's something that is still in the process of healing. Seven of Pentacles. And that would be, this is disappointment, loss, regret, sadness, despair, even. Linked to the lovers. Now, the lovers does not have to be necessarily a lover. This is a soul contract, a very important soul contract that you have with another. It could be a family member. It could be a lover. It is somebody that you are so deeply connected to that that, that bond will never be broken. But the Seven of Pentacles here is telling me that there's been some loss or sadness and disappointment um, and really unable to see any potential of it um, resurrecting. But there's a, there's a death. This may be what you need to let go of and integrate. Because we live in a world of duality, but we also have infinite possibilities that we can manifest. And you're in this fertile, creative element here. So check your thoughts, check your beliefs. And make sure that you're not in this energy where you're just continuously recreating this disappointment, loss, and sadness over and over again for yourself. Six of Wands. Okay, beautiful. The Magician in Reverse. So again, talking about the alchemy of life, we have Justice Upright below that. Two of Swords in Reverse. You had been on the fence, playing both sides of the fence, I'm hearing. You're one foot in the spiritual realm and one foot in the density of the third dimension and going back and forth instead of embodying your spiritual aspect to be in the world, but not of it. Justice upright is assisting you in that balance there. Magician in reverse, you may not be able to manifest anything right now because sometimes we're put in like a timeout or a holding phase because our spirit guides, our spirit team, don't they don't want us to continue to create this for ourselves. Um, you are overcoming something big though. And, um, You've got the strength and endurance to do so. You've put a lot of work into yourself as you're going through this transformation. So give yourself a pat on the back, Cancer. 
This is not easy. This journey is not easy. The awakening process is not easy. And definitely the challenges and obstacles that we face along the way are not easy. This is not for the faint of heart. When I see the lover's card here and I have the chills all over, this is telling me this is deep ancestral soul stuff that it takes over. It takes over you, it takes over the other, and it does cause a lot of energetic confusion from time to time, but those kinks are being worked out right now within you so that you can get a much more clear picture as to what it is that is happening and what it is that you are meant to learn and gain and integrate from this experience instead of focusing on the sadness, the despair, the loss, the disappointment, the regrets. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Let that stuff go. Everything happens for a very specific reason and trust that. Trust the process. It is not easy. Emotional withdrawal. Okay, good. Along with the hermit and the world in reverse. So the chapter, the cycle is wrapping up. There's some integration that is needed. And so you're withdrawing your energy from participating in other things that are not as important and really going into some meditational practices. And if you're not, this is a card telling you this is probably highly suggested to do so, but your energy is pulling you into the hermit. So you are withdrawing your energy, which is good. No more distractions from the outside world till you can embody and integrate all of this. I'm gonna let my cat in before she continues to distract me, Cancer. I'm sorry, bear with me one second. I can't have distractions either. I know, you're very loud, Luna. <laughs> my cat, Luna, has been, um, very vocal since I've been back. I was away for a week and she does not like it when I go away. So she's a little sensitive and feeling um, like she needs to be close to me right now. All right, let's keep going. Let's talk about death with the lovers and the seven of pentacles. Power. Lovely. You've got the strength. You've got the endurance. You've got the power to change. This is pure alchemy, death of an old way, an old way of thinking, an old way of believing, an old way of being, a death of a shadow aspect of yourself that's no longer serving you. Death of seven of pentacles. Don't put your focus where you put your focus. The energy continues to go there. So we're ending this cancer right now. End that energy for yourself positive movement forward. You've got this power and strength and endurance. <laughs> Luna agrees. <laughs> now she's going to do it inside, right? Distract me again. Let's go into transformation for cancer. You've put in so much hard work into yourself, into this experience, and it is, that hard work is paying off tremendously. You definitely have overcome some really challenging things on your journey. And even though you're not manifesting exactly what it is that you truly desire to manifest, trust that it will happen. Get out of this uh, Seven of Pentacles energy, though. Don't carry that with you or you're going to create that. Keep creating that same thing over and over again. Okay, Luna. <laughs> this eruption. With triumphant success. So, yes, yeah, some really hard lessons that cracked you open. Overcoming them. Triumphant success. And sometimes we have to get cracked open to have the light shine into aspects of ourselves that we otherwise would not be aware of. The bottom of the deck, we have rest and rejuvenate. Very important that you take this downtime, emotional withdrawal, the hermit, rest and rejuvenate. 
You're going through a transformation, a death of the old, a birth of the new. So it is important to take care, self-care, very important. Take care to yourself, take time to yourself um, to integrate. We have a new day below that because there is a new day, a new energy with this new moon. Bear with me one more time, Cancer. We're gonna let her back out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Talk about distractions, right? Okay. Anything else here? I feel this. I feel like you really went through the ringer and you're you're there, but you're you're integrating. There's some new, a lot of newness, a lot of things changing within you right now. So embrace that, embody that. Let's get a moon card and then we're gonna pull some advice for you. And if you're liking this video so far, Cancer, please, as an energetic exchange, if you wouldn't mind clicking that thumbs up, that like button underneath the video for me, that truly helps with the algorithms on YouTube to get the messages out to more and more people who may need to hear them. Helps with the channel too. And comment, feel free to comment. I love to read your comments. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. All right, let's keep going. What do we want to tell Cancer about this? I feel like the end of a tough cycle approaches or something like that. Or you're almost, oh, a time to give rather than take. That's interesting. Don't let your past hold you back. Okay, so, um, Cancer. When it comes to the lover's card, when it comes to someone else, if even if they're not in your um, physical reality at the moment, it is time to energetically give. Give of your heart. Give of your soul, your spirit to what it is that you desire. Energetically. All right, we're going to pull... Um, yeah, we're going to pull from the Starseed Oracle to give you some advice here. I love these cards. These are amazing messages, and they're always perfectly timed. <laughs> always perfectly timed with the energy. Um, so what is the advice for Cancer? What do we have for Cancer to give to them for this reading? breath of the cosmos. Last message for Cancer, please. Too many, but I'll take a peek. You're not alone. Isolation. So it is, you know, can be feeling very isolating. Physical connection and community. Inner child, uh, the golden children. Inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. I really just want one message, one main message for cancer, please. There are a lot of messages, messengers surrounding me right now that I want to continue with this. And it is just a general read. Um, we'll try to keep them under 30 minutes. They don't always go that way. Let's, let's see. Again, too many. Lifting the veil, questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. And I'm sorry, writing past wrongs, defensive lists, uprooting. I feel like that's what you're going through with the lovers and there's something that is being corrected. We really want to get a main message. I feel like this is your main message, but I really just want one card to come out, Cancer. I apologize. One more shuffle. Message for Cancer. Main message for Cancer. With regards to this reading, please. Oh my goodness. Now the cards don't even want to cooperate with me. This is 
some interesting energy. Uh, this is the most different reading I've done all day. So bear with me. There's a lot of magnetic energy here. Just one. Cancer, please. I know that there's a message in here for you, Cancer. I feel it. Message for Cancer, please. You may have multiple challenges going on at the same time, which all, okay. Okay, thank you. Which all kind of, correlate with the same topic here but we have cracked open rock bottom surrender to the alchemy of life somebody else got this too i think it was aquarius i can't remember now all right don't let the weight and density of the world squash your tender spirit instead let it call even more of it home, into your body, at the center front of your life. It's through the extreme pressures of life, of life's trials, that diamonds are cultivated. It's when things are at their darkest that we cultivate proper faith and our light is ignited. It's through the crumbling that we can allow our wounds to be alchemized. Let your pain, sorrow, and losses make you, not break you. Let life alchemize your tragedies into gold. Be open to being cracked open, wide open. It's the difficult times that help us grow in leaps and bounds and in ways we could only dream were possible. But first, they have to crack us open. Sometimes it hurts like hell. It's nature's way. Whether you let it happen or not, it's going to happen. So surrender to the process. It's how the light gets in. When your heart cracks open, a space is created for your soul to more fully enter. When your soul cracks open, a space is created for the grace of the Holy Spirit to enter. Let your trials, your sorrows, your pains, and your losses transform you into more and more of yourself. Stay open to the possibility that your tragedies, your losses, your sorrows, and your hurt happened for you, not to you. Bless the thing that broke you down and cracked you open because the world needs you open. Surrender to the alchemy of life. And uh, that's definitely what I'm getting to here is um, magician in reverse asking you to surrender to the alchemy of life so that you can become the true alchemist that you were born and meant to be. That is your message for this week, Cancer. I hope that you find this helpful for you. I'm sending you so much love. Take care. Bye.